I know you wonder why I want to speak with you alone. Before we begin, can you please make sure we don't have any eavesdroppers? Good. Now, forget everything you heard about the plan. I have something else in mind. Something that I only trust you enough to share with. But you must tell me what exactly May told you the other day in the gardens. So she said she loves Zuko more than she fears me. Well, obviously she miscalculated. She should have been feared me more. But I saw that coming. No, it's okay, it's fine. Splendid. That means everything is going according to plan. Not the plan I just told all of you about. That was never the plan. Now, listen to me carefully. First of all, this map was incorrect. Here is the original one. Yes, General Fong's fortress is not in the north of Selin village, but it's in the south of it. However, we still can't afford being seen by them. Only that part was not a lie. I know you're confused. Just hear me out. We can't attack Iroh and Zuko if they remain where they are. They're way too close to General Fong's fortress. There most certainly will be a fight between us and my uncle and brother. Give the devil his due, they are one of the strongest benders out there. But we are stronger. A duel between the strongest benders will be a battle of the giants. And I assume that it will be quite noticeable. Because of that, we need Zuko and Iroh to move north, to the woodlands, so the Earthbenders won't interfere. Good question. How will we make them move without attacking them? This is where Mei steps in. She will do it for us. She would do that if she's thinking that she would save Zuko's life. And this is what we want her to think. And you will make her think that way. After our meeting is over, I want you to tell Mei that I wanted to speak with you alone to persuade you to help me kill Zuko and Iroh. Tell her that I have no intentions to keep them as prisoners and I will not hold anything back and most certainly will kill Zuko, no matter what. Tell her I made up my mind. She knows Zuko can never beat me. And she also knows he wouldn't run away from a fight when he faces one. She has to think that I will kill Zuko if he doesn't move to north, to General Fong's fortress, where the thing is in the north of Sanan village. She has to think I will kill Zuko if he doesn't move to north, to General Fong's fortress, where the thing is in the north of Sanan village. Once she's convinced that Zuko will die if she doesn't betray me, she will betray me. And go find them and make them go north to the woodlands and we will be waiting for them there i already deploy my men in the woodlands but we must be there too you want something to be flawless you gotta do it yourself plus i don't think my men will be enough to fight them off we are needed 
So it's a must to be there before they do. Yes, indeed, it was a conundrum. We need to act after May leaves in order to not make her suspicious. Yet, we need to be in the woodlands before they do. The thing is, she will take her lizards and we can't forbid her if we want her scenario to be convincing. And here in the Earth Kingdom territory, there is only one suitable and faster way than a mongoose lizard. The Earth Kingdom Military Railway. And here. This is the course of it. It begins in here. Goling. And goes all the way to the Bossing Say. It carries all kind of military supply and rations. And it is being guarded by earthbenders. We need to sneak into it. Yes, it's a risky move. But it's the only way to be in the woodlands before May and the others. Will you join me in this mission? I knew I could trust you. Hmm. Ty Lee. Well, I had not think about her yet. She may even leave with May. I would much rather her on my side. Yet, I do not know if she will be. But I know one thing for sure. We cannot keep her close. We're over if she chi blocks us. It's for the best that she stays here. I can only hope that she does. So, everything's clear? Hmm. Will I actually kill Zuko? I guess we'll see about that.